Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nanolades at Dawn. I remain your host, Chad, if you're 333 and this next match is going to be between Silent Shadow and North Chilean G on Adansonia. So this map is one of my favorites, because I really like the, the aesthetics of it. I'd say as far as these maps that I think was Sprung made that are island, like these tropical islands and water maps, I think my favorite is Lonely Oasis, but Adansonia is a close second. Anyway, let's, con let's continue. Silent Shadow going for the Amphib Factory, and North Chilean G going for gunships. Which, against Amphib, is not a terrible idea. Amphib is probably the least equipped to deal with that. I mean, they have anglers, which are quite good anti-air, but they don't have... They don't have quite the speed that, say, hovercrafts have. They don't have as much flexibility for their riot units. I mean, they have shotguns on their... On their, sca on their scallops, but that's about it. So at this point, North Chilean G is setting up for a pretty strong cheese from the looks of it. And Silent Shadow, on the other hand, is just going scouting. Just playing this normal. Does not expect a gunship plant at all. In fact, doesn't seem to expect a whole lot of aggression at all. Going for a bit more of an economic strategy. Focusing very much on getting their energy built up as quickly as possible. Rather than focusing too much on getting their military set up as quickly as possible. Silent Shadow, on the other hand, is also kind of focused on the later game. They don't, sorry, North Chilean J, I should say. More focused on the later game, not really getting anything set up too much other than the Wasp here. Like, they have that. That's pretty good, but that's about all they got. So yeah, at this point, the Wasp is... kind of getting in the way of the Banshee doing its job. I mean, this is what I was about to say. North Chilean G really needed to wait on those Banshees. Because at this point, Silent Shadow is going to go, Oh crap! They have air. Because, well, you kind of want to do that after your opponent thinks that you're going ground. So at this point, I expect to see anglers quite a bit here. Actually, no, just going for ducks. I think North Chilean G just, or sorry, Silent Shadow is just going to go, You know what? Ducks have rockets that home. I could probably hit air, and the answer is eh, sort of. I mean, they aren't terrible at dealing with banshees, but they don't scale well. But it looks like North Chilean G just aborting that rush entirely. I don't know what their plan is. None of this makes sense. At this point, North Chilean G isn't really building up to harass, even though they went for super early air. Well, super early gunships. They don't have a whole lot to actually claim territory with because they went super early gunships. I mean, it's not terrible, it's not like planes, but it's still tough to hold territory here. Silent Shadow is pretty rapidly building up. North Chilean G does have the Wasp, but does have some expansions going on here, but as soon as they get spotted, they're done. If that duck were to go around to the northeast right now, that would be over. And actually, at this point, there's not much in North Chilean G's base to defend anything. Like... This rush just does not make sense to me. Or not even rush, this gunship opening doesn't make sense to me, given how passive North Chilean G is playing. Especially given that Silent Shadow is playing so aggressively, they, they could win in the next two minutes. If Silent Shadow, especially if they manage to kill North Chilean G's commander, which they have enough ducks to do so. Like if that becomes a thing, then yeah, this, this game is over. North Chilean G with the flamer do have... Flamethrower on top of their commander, which isn't a bad idea. And also going for a hidden Amphib Factory, which I can kind of see doing. I mean, they they should go for Ground Switch. That's what you need to do. But yeah, at this point, North Chilean G falling behind, not really building anything either. While Silent Shadow continues to expand, although they might want to actually continue to expand. But yeah, they are getting up, built up a little bit. Ah, oh, the ducks. Okay, the flamethrower was a little bit too much. I miss, I misjudged that. But, you know. If they had another three ducks on there, the other ducks that were coming in right now, I'd join that group and then attack the commander, the game would be over. Pretty quickly. At this point, though, North Chilean G is still not in a great position. They do have the Amphib Factory coming up, which is not something that's expected right now. So it could be a big deal. Silent Shadow continuing to build up a bit of an army, getting their economy going as strong as possible. And they do have the Caretaker for everything, so they are they are on track to not excess metal. That's what they need to do. 
Not sure where the commander's going off to, though. There, oh, there it is. Okay. Very forward commander. Going for the light particle beam upgrade as well. Which makes some sense. I mean, it's a good, it's a good weapon to get in the first little bit. Especially when you're dealing with banshees coming around. You want something quick. You don't want something that's going to be too inaccurate. At this point, though... Okay, North Chilean G actually has some openings to harass Silent Shadow. And Silent Shadow, accessing quite a bit, too. Silent Shadow needs to be building up this this whole energy infrastructure a lot faster than they are. Probably, well, not probably. They need another caretaker as well. They need more caretakers. They need their commander to be doing more things. Their commander probably needs to be building up some energy structures at the front lines as well. A little bit of a risky thing to do, but clearly North Chilean G... Yeah, they're going for connecting for the overdrive. Which is a good idea. It's just that they really, really, really need that production going. Like, they have enough energy in storage, they don't need to worry about it as immediately. They could actually build up... With enough build power, they could build up the energy they need and not excess. They're almost at that point, too. North Chilean G, on the other hand... Well, they're getting a lot of defenses, but not really getting much of an army. They finally have the Amphifactory done. Getting a few ducks for them. At this point, there's only, like, the one duck, though. Man, Reaper's coming out of the gunship plant. So North Chilean G, they don't have the economic advantage, but they do have more units, and they do have a bit more of a threat they can bring to bear. At this point, though, Silent Shadow, now they have the production going. Now they have loads of build power going into their factory and getting a gunship plant of their own, because why not? Inside of 15 seconds. So now... I mean, Silent Shadow, they have the economy, they have the production. They have a reasonably strong army they can work with here. And they have decent defenses around all of their metal extractors to stop basically any gunship attacks from coming in. And they have a surprise gunship plant of their own, which currently is inactive. For that matter, they might want to move this out of here. There we go. Move those ducks out of there. Where is that building to? Is this... I don't see any... No, there, there's no rally point. I don't know why these are these ducks are going so close to the factory. I mean, I must just not be seeing the rally point because there's no reason ducks would get that close to the factory blocking off the factory. They normally spread out without a rally point. So that's a bit weird. And I don't know why Silent Shadow is letting that happen. At the very least, they should set a rally point to stop that from happening. Regardless, Silent Shadow does have a very strong position on the ground. Ducks coming in from North Chilean G as well. And those, some of them are in position, most of them are not. And I still don't really understand the the motivation for the ducks at this point. I mean, they know they're fighting ducks, they almost might want to go for scallops instead. That being said, though, the ducks would help a bit against the rapiers, but not much. However, now that they know, North Chilean G, are you going to be going for anything other than ducks? And I don't think so. I think we're going to see duck rapier coming out of North Chilean G. I just and Silent Shadow, for that matter. Both of them basically doing the same thing here. Except Silent Shadow has way more money, so they can actually make that work more effectively, because they have a larger army. And did North Chilean... Yes, they did. Yes, yes, North Chilean G just upgraded their commander in order to give it cloaking device. Okay. So, yeah. They have cloaking. They have more build power. They have a radar. Their commander's in a pretty good position. Which makes it that juicy, that much juicier of a target. Although this, ooh, North Chilean G, that's quite the duck army you got there. I mean, Silent Shadow could very easily rival it, but given the positioning right now, North Chilean G will be able to win this fight. Silent Shadow is going to have to retreat for a little while, at least. Now, light particle beam versus flamethrower. I don't think Silent Shadow is going to win this one. Especially since North Chilean G is upgraded twice, Silent Shadow is only upgraded once. Silent Shadow getting away from there into the water to not actually put out the fire. I don't know if water actually puts out fire in this game. If it does, you have to be submerged. At any rate, North Chilean G has revealed the commander, which was a big mistake, seeing as all the Reapers coming in from Silent Shadow will be able to finish that off. Yeah, the commander's very much in trouble. These Rapiers are probably going to go on a suicide mission, actually, to deal with this. Although, maybe not suicide so much. These these ducks aren't enough. There's a commander! There's a commander dead! 
North Chilean G losing all their storage, losing their, well, the economy to get from the commander, losing loads of ducks. The rapier's having a field day on the ducks. No problems whatsoever dealing with them. And North Chilean G realizing they have nothing to work with here, throws in the towel, and that is game. Good job, Silent Shadow. Although, you could have done with less excess, but hey, it's only a thousand metal excess. It's not great, but certainly didn't lose the game, that's for sure. Yeah, a lot of it was just expansion early on, and North Chilean G did not commit to that gunship start. I mean, I guess they figured, oh, they're going for Amphib, they're going to have ducks, the ducks will counter my banshees, I'm not going to bother with that. But it's like, you could have gone in with like four banshees before the duck even got to your base. If you hadn't gone for the wasp, and you probably, or at least three banshees, you probably would have been able to wreck up the place. Oh well. That's the thing with the gunship starts, you, you're basically going all in at the very beginning. You can recover from that and go to an actual game, or to a less cheesy game, and be okay. But, yeah, when you're playing gunships, when you start gunships, you're you're in it to actually kill your opponent rapidly. You're not there to try to win in a longer, drawn-out game. Otherwise, you wouldn't go gunships start. Okay, Ophelia's confirming that water does put out fire when units are submerged sufficiently. But I guess jumping into a shallow river doesn't do the trick. And for Amphib, the AA is the Angler. It's this guy here. Fires off four missiles in a row. Ducks are kind of anti-air. They can kind of work, but they're easier to dodge. Anglers have much faster missiles and much more frequent missiles, so it's easier for them to take out air units. Anyhow... Moving on, this is going to be that match. The next match is also going to be North Chilean... No, sorry, that's going to be North Chilean G. North Chilean G will be coming in a bit later. But next match will be Kingstad and Orphelius on Isle of Grief. So that'll be up in a couple moments. I'm curious what Kingstad plays like. I've never seen them before. But I was curious. So we're going to find out who this Kingstad person is.